Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to connect a C++ application to MySQL database using Visual Studio 2022. So first, we need to download the MySQL connector for C++. So let's type MySQL. Then let's go to this first link. In this page, let's click on Downloads. Then let's scroll down and let's click on MySQL Community Downloads. In this page, we have to click on this link, Connector C++. Then in this page, we have to select Microsoft Windows. And here in this list, I will download the zip file for 64-bit systems. So this is the zip file that I need to download. Then here we don't need to log in, so let's scroll down and let's click on no thanks. Then we need to download this zip file, but in my case I have already downloaded it, so I will cancel this download. So this is the zip file of the MySQL connector, I need to extract it. So I will extract it on documents into the folder called libraries. So it is possible to keep the name as it is, but I want to rename it. Now let's go to Visual Studio. And let's create a new project. So here I will select Empty C++ Project. Then let's click on Next. And here I will call it MySQL Project 1. Then let's click on Create. Now the project has been created and it is empty. So let's create a new C++ file. And here let's select C++ file. So I will call it main.cpp. Now I will paste a source code that I have already prepared and that allows us to connect to the MySQL database. So I downloaded the release version of the MySQL connector. That's why I need to build this application in the release version. So here let's select release. Now let's go to project, then properties. And here we have to select release. And for the platform we need to select 64 bit. Now we have to expand CC++ and to select General. Then in the additional include directories, we need to add the include folder of MySQL. So let's go to Documents, then Libraries, then MySQL. Then let's open this folder and let's select GDBC. Now let's click on Select Folder. Let's click on OK. Now let's go to preprocessor. And because I need to link this application statically, I need to add a variable here. So the macro that I need to add is static con cpp. And of course, I need to add a semicolon. Now let's go to code generation. And in the runtime library, it is necessary to select md. Now let's go to linker then general, then additional library directories. Let's click on this button, then this button. Then let's go to documents, then libraries, then MySQL, then lib64. Then we have to select this folder, vs14. Let's click on select folder, then OK. Now let's go to input. Then in the additional dependencies, we need to add the lib file of MySQL. So let's go to the folder that contains this lib file. It is this folder, then lib64, then vs14. Then we need to add this lib file. So let's copy the name. So this lib file is called mysql cpp con 
static.lib. So let's add it here. And let's paste the name in this field. Let's click on OK. Then OK. Now let's build the application. So here we can see that the application has been built successfully. Now let's run it. And here we can see that the application was able to connect to the database and to insert some data. I hope that this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel.